U.S. prosecutors cancel Stormy Daniels meeting and Cohen probe porn actress Stormy Daniels had been scheduled to meet with federal prosecutors in New York on Monday as part of their investigation into President Donald Trump's longtime personal attorney, but the meeting was abruptly canceled late Sunday after it was reported by news organizations, her attorney said. Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, was supposed to meet with prosecutors from the U.S. Attorney's office in Manhattan in preparation for a possible grand jury appearance as they work to assemble a case against Trump's longtime personal lawyer, Michael Cohen. Ad Choice Advertising and Red Invented by Teeds But after several news organizations, including the Associated Press, reported on the meeting, two prosecutors called Daniel's lawyer, Michael Lavinati, and told him that they were concerned about media attention in the case, he said. Advertisement, I was shocked at that response. Avenatti said. Avenatti offered to move the meeting to another location and reiterated that Daniels, who he says has been cooperating with prosecutors for months, was ready to go forward with the meeting, but they called back to cancel it, he said. The meeting has not been rescheduled and prosecutors offered no other explanation for the cancellation, he said. Daniels has said she had sex with Trump in 2006 when he was married, which Trump has denied. As part of their investigation into Cohen, prosecutors have been examining the $130,000 payment that was made to Daniels as part of a confidentiality agreement days before the 2016 presidential election. We believe cancelling the meeting because the press has now caught wind of it is ridiculous. Avenatti wrote in an email to Assistant U.S. Attorney Nicholas Roos. We do not think it was any secret that at some point you were going to meet with my client. In response, Roos accused Avenatti of leaking the details of the meeting, an allegation that Avenatti was patently false, and said it called into question Avenatti's commitment to maintaining the required confidentiality of what is discussed in the meeting with Daniels. Advertisement, such confidentiality is critical to the diligence, fairness, and integrity of this, and indeed all, investigations conducted by this office, Roos wrote. This is not our preferred approach, and a step we are only rarely forced to take, but we are left with no choice. A spokesman for the U.S. Attorney's office in Manhattan had declined to comment on the meeting earlier Sunday night and did not immediately respond to messages seeking comment on the cancellation. Daniels is suing to invalidate the confidentiality agreement that prevents her from discussing the alleged relationship with Trump. She argues the non-disclosure agreement should be invalidated because Cohen signed it, but the president did not. Daniels and Avenatti have also turned over documents in response to a subpoena from federal prosecutors about the $130,000 that Daniels was paid, a person familiar with the matter said. They weren't authorized to discuss the matter publicly and spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity. Daniels' interview had been in preparation for a possible grand jury appearance in the federal investigation into Cohen's business dealings, the person familiar with the matter said. If prosecutors bring a case to a grand jury, they could call witnesses to testify under oath and the grand jury would decide whether to bring criminal charges with a written indictment. Daniels was supposed to appear before a grand jury on June 15, but the appearance was cancelled after she voluntarily agreed to come in for the interview that had been scheduled for Monday, according to an email from Rose to Avenatti. Advertisement in April, FBI agents raided Cohen's home, office and hotel room as part of a probe into his business dealings and investigators were seeking records about the non-disclosure agreement that Daniels had signed, among other things. Cohen had said he paid Daniels himself, through a limited liability company known as Essential Consultants, LLC, and that, neither the Trump Organization nor the Trump campaign was a party to the transaction with Ms. Clifford, and neither reimbursed me for the payment, either directly or indirectly.
In May, Rudy Giuliani, one of Trump's attorneys, said the president had repaid Cohen for the $130,000 payment to Daniels, contradicting Trump's prior claims that he didn't know the source of the money. Earlier this month, Trump said he hadn't spoken with Cohen, his longtime fixer and a key power player in the Trump organization, in a long time, and that Cohen is not my lawyer anymore, underscore underscore Lucy reported from Washington. By Tabula by Tabula sponsored links sponsored links promoted links promoted links you may like home away 15 awesome Thailand villas cheaper than a Singapore taxi ride home away and Ophar. Babel and Wa fashionable sexiest sexiest camo wedding dresses fantasy according to Mana Fashionable Undo Throne, free online game assemble your squad and join the battle throne, free online game Undo.